welcome to the finale and Wily Stage 3 of Mega Man 6. I inadvertently died twice and I game over. That's why I saw it over here. And that's because of the fact that I keep running into the spikes. So you see, there's this device there that's pushing you forward and pulling you back. I mean, no, me pulling you forward and pushing you back. That's what I meant to say. I got that confused. I should be ashamed of myself. But yes, you have this uh, robot that's constantly blowing you towards danger and sucking you back into danger. And there's been many times that stupid um, robot caused me to fall right into the pit of spikes. And the worst part is, that's all the dangers they have! Because after we get rid of those guys, I'm going to get in my uh, rush jet adapter, I think. And we're going to be heading over here to the boss rush. Yeah, folks. It's time for us to get started on the boss rush. Which I am going to, by tradition, skip. Because after all, we're refining everything again. All except for one person. There is one person that I'm not going to skip. As a matter of fact, we might as well get to him now. You see, if you ever want to start on a Robot Master with Mega Man 6, while Wind Man would be the better choice, Yamato Man works too, because not only, as you can see here, he is taking damage from his own weapon, as I showed off before, but that's not all he takes damage from. Look at this! He actually is taking some damage from the Knight's Crest. Which is rather ironic, to be honest. But that's not all. Huh? The Fire Blast is actually hurting him, too! There is a lot of weapons that you could actually use to take down the Motto Man. And if you go out of order, just remember you have those options to use against him. And also, you win the War of Attrition with the E-Tanks, because there's a lot of them. And God forbid if you get the Energy Balancer before you meet him. Yeah, you pretty much won the fight right then and there. Hell, we can even use Windstorm, although it's one damage still. Fire Blast actually does the most to him. And I'm going to save my Silver Tomahawk because... Oh yeah, Plant Barrier doesn't do crap, obviously, because it's Plant Barrier. But I'm going to save my Silver Tomahawk because of the fact that there's no point in me keeping it. I don't actually, no point in me using it yet. That's what I meant to say. And there's no point in me keeping the other weapons because I've already beat the Robot Masters. So I might as well use them all. And besides, there's one thing I need to mention. Once we actually beat all the Robot Masters, you think that portal will warp us straight to a mid-fight with Dr. Wily, right? I mean, Dr. Wily, sorry about that. <clears throat> but unfortunately, we're not going to be fighting Dr. Wily. Not in this stage. That actually was the end of the stage. The boss rush was it. That was a really short stage, and I kept dying in the spikes. But nonetheless, folks... Now we have the final stage of the game. You might want to equip your jet adapter for this one. And, uh... There really isn't much left to say. Well, at least for the first part, you, know, you might want to equip your jet adapter. But, in the end, you're going to have to come to here, and this net dispenser will give you certain stuff that you can need. I mean, that you're going to use, like... 1-ups, they'll probably give you health. It'll give you some weapon energy. Since you have the energy balance, balance your chances are you're gonna, um... Sorry, the stuttering is strong with this one. But anyway, even though I have the energy balancer, I'm still gonna need enough energy just in case I run into the Silver Tomahawk. Because the final boss of the game, Wily, is weak to all... Well, all forms of Wily, actually, is weak to the Silver Tomahawk. But I don't want to blow all of Silver Tomahawk's weapon energy on just one form or two forms. So, I'm just going to try to destroy the Met Dispenser while I still can. And I'm not reaching it. 
Damn it, I'm the king. <sighs> and if you hear any noises in the background, that is because of the fact that it is raining outside. Because Tampa doesn't know what weather it wants to be. Whatever the case, that meth dispenser was the last thing we had to go through. And thank you, Eddie. I really didn't need that, but okay. And by the way, you couldn't use the uh screen uh the screen scroll trick on Eddie because of the fact that you're locked out once you get to that form. I mean, get to that area. Sorry. So now it's time for us to deal with Wily Machine Six. Anybody here who's seen my Mega Man X5 playthrough knows that the Black Devil transforms into this. And I am taking a lot of damage. Unnecessary damage. But a lot of damage. I have he takes a spare. In case you're wondering. And I'm going to be using them. And get away from me. Get off me, you jerk off. This isn't hard. He just traps you here. But I'm using the Night Crest as well. Because it also do damage to Dr. Wily's ship as well. And now for round two. Yeah, you're running away from it, or the screen is scrolling along with you. Ow! Stop Stop trapping me in the corner, damn it! It's really, really a toy! Okay, stop it! Stop it! You're making me stutter! Just stop it! It's not hard, you're just tediously trapping me in the corner. Alright, you're almost done. Just a few more charge shots and you're dead. Yeah, that's the thing. The charge shot actually takes the most takes some of the damage off of him. Not the most damage, because that is a silver tomahawk. And speak of the devil, we're about to whip that out right now for this form. Now, if I could get to it in time. There we go. Ooh, I didn't want to I didn't want to waste it like that. I have got to stop using the auto fire for weapons. Yeah, we're about to wrap up the last battle of the game, actually. And it's pretty much the same as Mega Man 5, it's just that he's firing these swirls in all four directions. And of course, the Silver Tomahawk will hunt him down. Nonetheless, folks, that's it. Wily is done, Wily is finished, and Wily is finally captured! After six games, Mega Man finally thought to capture him and put him in jail. Hooray! <clears throat> Triumphant at last, Mega Man arrested the notorious Dr. Wily and brought him to justice. Sentenced to prison for his crimes, Dr. Wily now rules over a prison cell. For now, folks. At long last, the world is at peace. For now. Remember, we have at least five number games now since 11's been confirmed. But nonetheless, folks, this was Mega Man 6. The last of the NES games for the for Mega Man, basically. <clears throat> and my thoughts, while the adapters are actually pretty good and the stage is compensated for them, my bigger complaint have to go to Plant Man because of the fact that you can't really utilize the jet uh, adapter until you beat Plant Man. And his stage is where the jet adapter would actually work the most. Yeah, I made some really dumb and stupid mistakes on screen and off screen too, but you know what? I actually enjoyed the game. The music is underrated, just like Mega Man 5, but I prefer 5 soundtrack a lot better. <clears throat> well, a lot more, that's what I meant to say. Why did I say a lot better? But anyway, the designs of the Robot Masters is actually pretty cool, because again, these are all made by fans. And you're actually seeing the fan names um, as they go to the roll call of the Boss Masters. I mean, the Robot Masters. <laughs> Sorry. 
And now I honestly can't wait to see what kind of robot masters is Mega Man 11 going to have. Because I think they're already surely one, and that's Brick Man. And Plant Man, you could go to hell. Yeah, hear that thunder in the background? God doesn't like you. Yeah, and your weapon sucks too. And all in all, this is actually one of the better loadout of the series. While 5 had the suboptimal loadout, it, it was actually pretty fun. And 6... 6 was actually, like, the easier version, because it was more generous with the E-Tanks and the... Uh, 1-Ups. Because there was no weapon or master... Or mystery tank, sorry. But again, Six would actually put in the staple of a series that's going to last for a while, and that is the energy balancer. Once you have that, you're pretty much not going to have to worry about running out of energy for a while. Yes, even in Mega Man and Base. I mean, all the classics actually uh, brought something to the table. Mega Man 1, it's the first game, obviously. 2, the 8 robot system and also the weapons. 3, Rush. 4, the Charge Buster. 5, beating all of his brokenness. And 6, the Energy Balancer. And also the Adapters. I mean, while 3 was lackluster out of the NES games, I gotta say, even that had a good soundtrack, too. But, Six is finally done, and I am finally past the NES games. Which means, now I can actually go to 7, 8, 9, 10, and eventually 11 when it's released. Because I already have done Mega Man and Base. Ha! And I have no intention of doing that game ever again. Just saying. But well, whatever the case, folks, I like 6, it's pretty solid. Rather, it's too easy, but it's still pretty solid. Nonetheless, we're done here with this game. And I will announce the next short-term project in a week. So I'll see you guys next time.